Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are back here in the world of Secret of Evermore on a Sunday long play, and I am joined by a special guest. My son, Pryor, is uh, here in the recording studio with me today. Pryor, say hi. Hi. Yep, that's Pryor. Uh, he likes this game, and he's going to hang out, and uh, he may speak up from time to time, or maybe I'll ask him some questions. Um, Pryor is... Oh, look, a new formula. Uh, I don't think we'll ever use it. So I'm not going to turn it on. Um, yeah, I don't think we found him. We didn't find that guy's brother. That's okay. We finished the... Okay, so probably right now in the game. And Basement Dwellers, just so you know. We're looking for the two diamond eyes for the dog statue. And we found one to the north in the Hall of Colossia. Colossia? And we're going to go south to the pyramid to find the other one now. That's our current goal. So we're going to a pyramid. There's uh, ogres. It's a bit of a maze. So uh, hopefully we don't get too lost. And uh, mm -hmm. that'll be a lot of fun. So Pryor, uh, how old are you? I am nine. And do you go to school? Yes. Of course you do. What grade are you in? Fourth. I didn't ask you if you go to school because I don't know. I asked you to set up the question about um, being in fourth grade. Uh, I guess we'll stick with this spear for now, even though we can't charge it up. Dad, I've never been held back. Well, I know, but some people who are nine aren't in fourth grade, even without being held back. Okay, if I step on this, the door opens, but if I move off of it, it closes. So we need your dog to step on it, and then you would go in. Well, you figured that out quick. Okay, so we'll take over as the dog and set him there, and then we'll send the boy in. Oh, no, we did that backwards. Where's your dog? We want to send the dog in. Why? Because the dog can... Oh, I have to press the select button really hard. Because the dog can jump across this gap. The boy can't, but watch. The dog can a jump. All right, so now we're here in this room with all of these uh, switches. See that switch? That's yeah. a switch, and that's a switch. So we can stand on these and open different doors inside of the pyramid for the boy. Okay. By the way, the boy's name in this particular file prior is Basement, and the dog's name is Dwellers. So it's <laughs> like the Basement Dwellers. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of fun. All right, so here we are on the outside of the pyramid. We got to head in. We got to fight a bunch of bad dudes and uh, bad fight dudes. fight a boss probably at the end and get ourselves the diamond eyes. Now we could go back down here. We got these guys here swinging their little swingy swings at us. Let's um, let's get rid of them the easy way. Ha! Oh, I didn't kill him. Okay, this is a dead end. There's nothing here for us. Huh, now you killed him. Yeah, I turned him into raspberry jam. Yum. So, probably this is part uh, six of our Secret of Evermore playlist here in the basement. Boy, these guys got a lot of health. I've done like a... took like 200 damage to do him in. Move out of the way, please. I'm going into the door now. All right, in the pyramid, finally. Okay. Uh, it is, I highly recommend, if anyone is using this as like a walkthrough sort of thing, that you have um, a spell. That you have a spell that you trust and use and is leveled up because those flying bone guys are super annoying. They're hard to hit with your regular hand weapons and uh, the, the spells just make this a lot easier. So, we'll kill these guys with those. How many of those do we have? Hey, found some honey. We've got 44 left. Okay, they, and these are little mummy uh, containers with a cat inside. You can see a little cat paw yeah. come out and go, swipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hi, kitty. They move kind of slow and they're kind of small, but they can cause a fair amount of damage. So, we want to be careful around them. Ouch. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, so we're just picking up the good stuff in these chests for now, and I don't really like remember the perfect path through This place so we're gonna have to figure it out together on camera found a pedal found two parts iron Okay, so some good stuff in here Is this where I came from? How do you know when you die? Uh, your health will go all the way down to zero. So at the bottom, you can see 240 and 255. 
255 is the maximum amount of health I can have, and I'm down to 240 right now, so I'm doing okay. Okay, okay so there's nothing down there but a... Uh... And in this game, are there things like hearts? Oh, here we go. Um, you have to use them. So I just picked up a petal, and that that's a petal right there. It's an item, and I can use that on myself when I turn blue and glow, and I get a little bit of health back there. It gave me 40, although I only had room for 15. But still, it brought my brought my health up. So now I'm back to 255 out of 255. See that? Mm -hmm. I also have a spell like I'm hurting those guys with, a different spell that heals me. Okay, now the way to open this is to get the boy and the dog to stand on it at the same time. So I apparently have tried to shortcut to the end of the pyramid really quickly. But we can go in here. So you do remember, eh? Well, I mean, I remember some stuff. Four feathers. Now, some of these things come to life. These statues. So we have to be careful. Oh, wow, gunpowder, ethanol, limestone. We're found in all sorts of good stuff here. If those things do come alive, what happens? Wow, dry like ice. They like... They'll attack. How? Uh, just their their next move, and they strike like snakes. Oh. Can't carry any more nectar. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll leave it there, I guess. Um, For later. Oh, that's a switch. Okay, let's get some of these other good things. Maybe none of these come to life. There are some in the pyramid that do, but I don't know if any are in this room. Can you guys be all done being alive? Thank you. Grease, meteorites. Wow, there's some rare stuff in here. Uh, we're crossing a bunch of these things. I don't know if that means anything good. Yeah, I probably should have looked up how to get through the pyramid, but I think it's kind of fun to sort of figure it out. Oh, look. Oh, that just collapsed. Oh, that's nice. There's some walls where we need, like, a good weapon to break them down. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not always easy. That you, you, We don't have that yet, so we, we would have to go and get it. Can't carry any more nectar. That's fine. Oh, look, the dog's health is showing up on our screen right now. That means we're close to him. Poison. I wonder if killing these guys opens this door or what what makes that door open. I'm not sure. Die. This was a dead end, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, lots of mazes in this game. That's okay though. Still fun. We'll figure it out. Definitely a lot of backtracking though when you're unsure. It was cool that that wall just fell down. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's try going this way. If it fell down on you, Poison is that would off. be bad. That's good. Found a petal. A uh, petal. Got yeah. it. Oh, yeah, we've already been here. Oh, yeah, I couldn't carry one. Oh, you know what? I could use... That's nectar. That's like a petal, but it's stronger. Oh. And if you can't carry any more, then you can use one and then try to pick it up again, and then you'll get it back. So that gave me 120 health. Move out of the way. I have to spell these guys. Uh, excuse me. I'm just trying to get my nectar. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so up was the dead end. We haven't been this way, though. Oh, my. Oh, that looks like a breakable wall. Yeah, those I, cracks. I agree. I wonder if we need a different weapon to get through it, though. We'll find out. Ugh, yeah, these guys are annoying to fight without spells. That's why it's just nice to have them. I can't attack it. So I think I need... Yeah, I think I... I think I tried to go through this a little... Oh, look. Essence. You're running low on health, Dad. Biscuit? Ah, I'm okay. So I think we went to this part a little too early. I think we're supposed to do that a little later. So we'll go back this way and try a different path. Hey, hey. Prior, uh, what you eating? Milk duds. Milk duds? Well, those sound good. Are they good? Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, where'd you get those milk duds? From my sister's Halloween candy bag. <laughs> oh my. Uh, and why did you do that? Because she took one of mine. 
on a school day for lunch. Yeah, they made an agreement. They were pressed for time, and Pryor said, I'll give you one of my candies now if you give me one of yours later. And so they agreed to it. Oh, look. We're in a new spot here. This is good. Poison was worn off. Well, that's good, too. We got poisoned, and now we're not poisoned anymore. When you're poisoned, your health slowly wears down. Uh. I wonder if I'm accidentally going through this, like, the wrong direction. Like, like I'm getting to spots I'm not supposed to be at yet. The game definitely has, like, an order in mind, and if you're, if you don't do it the way they're thinking, then it can be a little extra confusing because of that. You got your phone, right? Yeah, why? We could still look it up. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay. We'll be fine. Says I... the person who's never fine. Wait, you can, I'm always fine. All right. Okay, so we can cross these paths, but they disappear after we cross them. Well, no they didn't. Well, Maybe if you stay on them. Maybe they do if you go the other way. Yeah, we might be going through this backwards. That would be kind of funny. We'll see if we can. We'll see if we can do it though. I'm sure someone is watching that knows how to do this the normal way. <laughs> and if we're going through the backwards way, they may be interested to see just how far we can get um, by doing it this way. Okay, that's good. Let's, uh... I don't really know what that does. Okay, there's just this guy down here, and that's it. Poor guy. That won't open. He's alone. Yeah, it looks kind of boring, doesn't it? Yeah. Boring and sad. But, I'm not him, so who cares? Yeah, and no one really is. He's just a video game character. 2D. Uh, yes, this is a 2D game, correct. Uh, okay, so we could break through that if we had the axe, which we don't. We can't get any further this way. I think this is the room that our dog is in, right here. Oh, maybe we should be using oh, the yeah, dog I just saw him. to open paths. Hmm. Okay. So the dog can stay here, and we will go investigate in that direction. So this opens up a new path for us. Oh, oh, he came to life there. And he does a lot of damage, so we do not want to mess with him. Oh, and he's strong too. He's gonna be hard to defeat. I wonder if we can get through if we time it correctly. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I think you're supposed to cross on this symbol to keep them from coming to life. Well, this one doesn't have one. Oh, and it didn't come to life. Okay, that's good. Hey, bones. Oh, can't carry any more nectar. That means I should have used one. Now we can't pick it up. If you try to pick up something from, like, the bones of an enemy and uh, it won't let you, then the bones disappear and you don't get to try again. Okay, so this is just a circle. Mm-hmm. With something inside that, that might we, be helpful. Yeah, but we can't seem to get to it right now. I want to kill both of these guys. Is there two bone guys, or is there just one? Well, I think there was two and you killed one. No. Nope. Oh, there's one down there. I got it. Okay, so we need to have that weapon first. Uh, careful. Careful. Go! Okay. Excuse How me? How much damage do they do? Well, I don't exactly remember. I think a lot. Uh, was this... Did we go this way? Yes. That's right, we did. You're right, we did. We totally did. All right, so the time has come for the dog to step on a new pressure point and see if we can get this figured out. I think that these are doing a good job of not disappearing because we're not supposed to be in this room yet. Let's try this one. Okay, that's way over there. We've come across one of these barred doors before, though. I think it was this one. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to leave the dog here and then backtrack back to that point. Where can the dog go? The dog can hold still for now. What do you mean? Like, 
Like. Well, once we set him on a button, he'll still. But Until he, we move him. Well, he's in a room that's just a dead end right now. Oh, this is why these guys are so annoying. They hit you and knock you down, and you can't do anything while you're waiting. Okay, so we have to find that door that the dog just opened. Not this way. Maybe... That way. Nope. Yes. Yeah, this, this pyramid and the hall that we just did in the last episode are like two of the most confusing areas in the game. <laughs> Maze-wise. Let's push our way through these guys. And maybe we need to back up. Oh, or maybe we need to go in here. I wonder if the door that the dog opened is accessible from this area. I don't know. Don't say that I'm being loud with the milk duds. Did I say that? No, but you looked at me in a way that I thought you would. <laughs> And then I didn't. Oh, look, there's some stairs there. Hmm. wonder if we can get to those. Like this way, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Oh, come on. Yeah, these guys, am I right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here. Isn't this the one that the dog is supposed to have opened right now? What was in here? Nectar. Hey, there we go. Oh, now there's these guys here. Okay. I don't want to attack that person down below. Just can these you two. go to the dog right now? I can, but I'm gonna not leave the boy alone with these two dudes. Okay. Yeah. I thought you should do that. <laughs> so he was on it, but it wasn't exactly registering. Yeah. Probably because we left the area and came back. Okay, so this is probably the right way to go. Mm -hmm. This always takes me some figuring out. Okay, let's try the right path first. Yep, this is a dead end, so this is the right way first. Ooh. Dry ice. Yeah, dry ice. That's a hard thing to find. That might be one of the things you can't buy in the game. Although I think you can, actually. There's some spell that requires dry ice and meteorites. And uh, one of those two things you can't buy, but the other one you can. Can you die? Thank you. Mm, bones. Multiple. Yeah, let's see what they got. Oh, nectar we can't carry anymore. Might as well use some. You can only carry six. And right now we have five. Well, yeah, we did. Oh! Yeah. Okay. So if you're, if you're on it, then he doesn't go. Just gotta get past him without getting hit by him. Wow, that's a lot of cold beads. Alright, let's see what's in here. We're getting some levels, that's good. Oh, uh, this one. Oh, he will. So we need to go to the very top of this pyramid, and then there will be like a boss. Oh, you'll see. Can't get. Oh, see how that disappeared? Did you see it? No. Oh. Well, you'll see the next one disappear then, I guess. Okay. Pixie dust, three parts bone, two parts wax. Oh, oh and that one just comes to life. That's good. Wax. Yep. See how it disappeared? Mm hmm. Yep. So, that's what I was saying earlier. Right, let's take these jerks out. Can you swim? No. Oh. So this is kind of like a one-way bridge. Once you cross it, that's that. There's no going back. But now we have more of these doors that the dog can open up. So before we do that, or let's not. see... What? Or not. What do you mean, or not? <laughs> because maybe one of the switches doesn't open either of these doors. Oh, well. I think that you are not correct. I think that you are right. As usual. All right, let's see what's Don't through. Brag. Let's see what's through this one. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, boss. Or something. 
It's just this guy. He doesn't... Oh, two of them. Doesn't look like much, but they have a lot more health than the normal guys. Watch how much damage I end up doing to both of them. 88. Plus 55, so we're up to, what, 143 each? Plus another 58, that's 193, 201. 280. So these guys are, like, more powerful? 360? Yep. Yeah, they're, like, ultra-strong versions. Oh, we're down to one flash. All right, well, let's use it on these guys. And they're not dead. <laughs> Look how they're orange and glowy. That I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> let's um, let's switch to our weaker spear because this one we can charge up and throw. And these guys are really strong, but they're really slow, which helps us fight them. There we go. Wow. Hey, hey you nice. see the bronze axe. Now this is the thing with which we can knock down. Uh those crumbling looking walls. Ah. Now we do want to go through the other barred door Crumble before ball. we Crumble. progress. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back there. But we needed f to fight those guys in order to get this ax. Which is what we wanted. Yeah. Got it. So let's, uh, is it not this one? Nope. I think that's like the fourth one we're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, we totally went through this backwards. That's okay. All right, camera pans back over to the dog. Dog sits obediently still. Good boy. Can't carry any more pedals. Well, I don't really want to use one either, so we'll just leave it there. Can't carry any more biscuits. Okay, that was just a big waste of time. So now we need the dog to open this one back up again. Camera pans all the way over to the boy. Camera pans back to the dog. I don't have any control over that part. And then You're I press boring. select and I take over the boy. I am? Yes. Why? You're just like da 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 and da 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 and da 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 da. Well, why don't you tell us an interesting story while I break down that wall with the axe? Okay. Once I got my hand stuck in an elevator door. You did? Uh huh. A what? What? And why did that happen? And what was happening that day? And tell us more. Well, I was five. Now, here we are down here. This makes sense. Good for you. And I stuck my hand out for some reason that I don't know anymore. And then didn't take it back out when the doors were closing. Hmm. Bummer. That must have hurt. I'm gonna steal all your stuff, okay, dude? Okay. And, uh, did your hand fall off? No. Were all your bones broken? Mm, nope. You were okay? Yes, if you don't include the part where I cried for a half an hour. What a baby! You probably would do that same thing except for an hour if you were five dead. Oh, look, this is a dead end. And there's nowhere else to go, right? Um, you don't know that. Maybe I did get my hand stuck in an ele uh, escalator. Elevator door. Elevator? Elevator. Oh, these guys. Okay, let's try one of our different spells since we're all out of that first one. Okay. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, that's a fun one. Crash. Okay, do I want to go through... Can you jump? I guess... No. I guess I'll go through... Only the dog can. I'll go through here since I haven't yet. Oh, but I have been on the other side of this. Is that gonna disappear? It didn't. Okay, so do we want the dog to open that yet, or do we want to go this way? I don't know. This way, this way, yeah. It's very confusing. It's very you. Uh, no. It's like the first place we went. I think we want to go the other way. Because the point is, is we got to get reunited with the dog and then open that door at the very top. So, uh, dog, please open the switch. Uh, dad, please give the dog some food. 
he's fine. He's in perfect health. Are you and we he's... finish the boss if it hasn't been all done with us doing this. Can we please play Burnout? Because that would be fun. Burnout, you see, is a racing game that I love. Just you know, basement dwellers. Yeah, Burnout for the GameCube it is a car racing game, and Pryor does indeed love it. Okay, so we're... Maybe we could do that at, when we're, like, at a good stopping point for this. Um, with our time together, if you want, sure, but not... I don't think we'll record it. Ow, oh, cheapers. Man, why not, Dad? Oh, uh, cheapers. Because it would not go very well. <laughs> why? Because I'm not good at it? No, I didn't say that. I just don't think it's a great plan for recording. Okay. Oh, here's how. I get the dog back this way. Hi, dog. Oh, hi, dog. You get him, doggy. So now... Um, dog lost some health. How do we get to the top? Oh, now these are going to disappear now that we have the dog. Okay, so I don't think... I think we want to go... I hope so, because that's going to sink. This this might be one of the most confusing parts of the game. Dead, quick, awkward silence. Okay. <laughs> Prior started to figure out how to be uh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's still figuring out what works. Okay, can we get to the top from here? I don't think so. Prior. Yes. We don't need the extra sound effects. <laughs> Why not? Why don't we need them? Yes. Do you know what need means? Mm, maybe. That is so a secret of ever more noise. Well, that would make sense. Look, the top of the pyramid. We need to get up there. Now we're at the bottom. Oh, I didn't. I wouldn't let the dog up because it's too steep. Before, so the game is definitely confused about the order in which we're doing things. This is an example of poor game design and poor conveyance because we ought to be able to. Now the dog can't come down these steps either, can he? Where is the dog? He'll show back up at our side right here, but yeah, we need to find the top. Hopefully those uh, one-way bridges closing do not doom us. I don't think they Can do, Can you though. give the dog health? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's try going this way. This looks like it might be promising. Where is the dog? The dog gets confused a lot in the pyramid, too, and has a hard time staying with us. Haha, -ha, dog. Were you hoping we would lose him? Oh. Get out of our face, snake. Snake boy. All right, here we go. Yay, we're at the top of the pyramid. Now we're gonna do the boss or something else. The, oh yeah, that's gonna be creepy. This is creepy, Dad. Yeah, well. Okay, confound is an interesting thing where up becomes down on your uh, controller and left becomes right and everything's all backwards all the time. Which is very confusing. So we'll have So the, it's like a potion on you? We'll have the crush spell. Yeah, it's like he... Can we not... Then he tries to get you? With what? Well, he's racing around trying to just bonk into us. I don't think we have... Oh, we don't have any cure. Oh, dang. Maybe we want to attack something up here. It's not letting us attack... Oh, attack the statue. Probably have to do that first. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the statue's like, the lights turned out, and now, now we can attack this red thing. That's our ultimate goal, we have to kill that thing. The dog's doing a good job. And if you die, do you start at the beginning of the level? Uh, we, yeah, we start from our last save point, so it would be wise to, save. to make sure that we don't die. Oh, look, the dog is down to zero health. Poor dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now maybe we can only attack it while it's holding still. I think that's probably right. Uh, we can cast revive. That will bring the dog back. And then we will cast heal on both of us. <laughs> So I'm, I'm trying to remember this boss here. I think we can't attack it while it's moving. But we can attack these dumb statues. Although... I, I know that that would be something. Sometime. I think the only way to do it is with a spell. I'm still trying to control as though my up is left and my and up and down are switched and left and right are switched. Is it hard? I'm sorry. Uh, well, I mean, it's unnecessarily hard. Oh, there, we did it! Yay! The dog only had 17 health left. Phew! Poor dog. Some nice celebration music there. Received a diamond eye. That's good. And we have full health again. Let's check our, uh, stuff. Diamond eyes. <laughs> Rare item. Yeah, we got him. Is it going to make us walk all the way back? Oh, no, it does it for us. I'm not controlling right now. That's nice. The pyramid is confusing. Oh, now we're t we've taken over again. The pyramid is confusing enough without having to go through it twice. Recei found some ash. Okay, so now we're supposed to give this stuff these diamond eyes back to a good guy and not a bad guy. Falling down the pit is actually a handy shortcut for getting back to where we're going. Um, although, we're not supposed to actually get here. That's funny. Because now he's missing. The guy in the yellow. What guy in what yellow? There was guy in a yellow outfit and uh, we're supposed to give him the diamond eyes and he's not here so we're gonna head toward town to give them to him and a, we may or may not meet a suspicious character here I hear someone coming hmm him except his outfits not yellow it's green ah basement I'm glad to see you're still alive have you found the diamond eyes hi Horace yeah I've got them right here I must have them give them to me uh okay here you go Gave away diamond eyes. They're mine! They're mine! The diamond eyes are mine! Gwa ha ha ha! This guy is loony, like Metalhead McGovern and Lunky Monkey. Come on, dwellers, let's follow him. I think he's gone off the deep end. Uh oh, tough guys. Not so fast, kid. Our boss wants you to stay where you are. Oh, he does, huh? Well, I guess we'll just have to. Ax you to get out of our way. <laughs> I used the word ax like it was the word ask. That's why that was funny prayer. Now let me ax you a question, tough guy. There. I axed him good. Hmm, you received 100 jewels. Oh, nice. That was easy, but I think we got a tough battle ahead. I don't think that guy who took the diamond eyes was Horace at all. He looked pretty suspicious. I bet he's planning to use those diamond eyes for something devious, and he's probably going to the city on the other end of the desert. Well, thank you, boy, for telling us exactly what's happening, because that is exactly what's happening. Now, there's a stone over here covering up a cave that we have not been able to get into so far in the game, but now that we have this axe that breaks down crumbling walls, let's give it a try. Whoa! No. <laughs> it worked. Hey, how did you get in here, kid? What happened to the barrier? I hit it with my axe. So you did. That's the bronze axe you have in there. You've been in the Great Pyramid. You're quite an explorer. You know what you need? The drain formula. Oh, uh, that is a good formula. You know, we could probably get rid of levitate and turn drain on. That would be fine. We'll probably get rid of revealer, too. 
So let's see, escape or I guess escape will turn on. Mix ethanol with roots, you'll drain your enemy's health and give it to yourself. You wanna purchase ingredients? Yeah, sure, let's buy some. We got money coming out of our ears, so let's buy everything that we can. These are the ingredients that we use up to make those spells happen. Mm. Uh, okay, would you like for me to record your progress? Sure. Now we're not gonna go uh, across the desert to the north in this episode. Oh, man. That'll happen in the next episode. Okay. Um, but we are going to stock up on limestone while we can because we want the ability to cast the crush spell in the future. And I don't know if we're gonna have the ability to buy these ingredients anytime soon. Plague? Oh, that's just the dog, that's fine. Dog is easy to bring back to life. You and your dog are brave adventurers. I'm proud of you. Would you like for me to add blah blah blah? Blah blah blah. Let's see. Limestone. We need a bunch of that. And then what else does Crush take? Uh let's check. See you later. Okay. Um. Alchemy. Crush. Whack. Oh, we have 95 of them. We're all out of flash because we don't have any oil. Does this guy sell oil? Oh, he does. Yeah, we're all out of oil. Buy it up! Where's the light for me? Yes, I already said that. Uh, and we are... about almost 40 minutes in. Game saved, great. Why? Exit. See you later. I guess maybe we could cross the desert in this episode. Woohoo! If we go in here, the dog will be... Get all his health back. Look at the skeleton guy. Hey, Captain. You wanna lift? Sure. If you have an amulet of annihilation? Yes, sir. Hop in, Captain. He's gonna give us a ride. It's a very long walk without the ride. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you aboard our non-stop shuttle to Nobilia, the little jewel of the Desert of Doom. On your left is a large expanse of sand, rocks, and scrub weed. While you're enjoying your stay in Nobilia, you can shop for goods, armor, and charms in the Bargain Bazaar. While we make our approach to the city, please return your seats and trade tables to their upright positions. Remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Why is the dog flashing? He's been plagued. What's that? It's, a, it's like poison, but worse. Thanks, buddy. Poor dog. Hey, you've been saying that a lot. We take good care of the dog. Here, fine. You worried about the dog? We'll cure him. <laughs> Trust me, basement dwellers. If you saw how I was acting right now and not what I was saying... Hey, nobody's here. You would think that I'm a way different person than what I... Am saying, and what you think I am. Hear the chicken? Let's talk to him a few times. Something funny happens. You ready? Yeah. You ready for it? It's pretty funny. I don't know how many times you have to do it. Maybe a hundred. That's why I'm trying to press the button fast. Ted and I played this game. We played it two-player uh, earlier in the channel, and we talked to the chicken a bunch of times and made it happen. Come on, chicken. Hey, you. Yes, you. Do not taunt the chickens. <laughs> he just brought me down to one health. Who said that? The game. <laughs> so the game was meant to do that? Yeah. Somebody put that in. Do just in case somebody, somebody did that to the chicken that many times. Like you. Yeah, like me. It's a funny little, funny little thing in the game that not everyone knows not about. Taunt what does the, the dog chickens. smell? Who knows? Okay. Ooh. Taunt the goats if you want, <laughs> but leave the chickens alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, all right. Let's see what's going on over here. Mm, people. It looks like we're a little too late, dwellers. Oh, there's that guy. 
It will now command the ancient world with supreme power, for I have the diamond eyes of the sacred dog statue. That guy takes himself way too seriously, like Emperor Zorn in Acropolis Apocalypse. All those movies are fake, by the way, that he keeps referencing. Ooh, cool! The eyes went right into the eyes of the statue, though. That's pretty sweet. That dog looks a little like uh, our dog. Let the menacing begin! Uh-oh. See you later, statue. Nice knowing ya. Oh, great. All right. Let's, um, let's switch save. to the dog. Let's save, and then keep going. Nah, we don't need to save. Okay. Suit yourself. We're gonna cast Crush on this guy a bunch of times. Let's see what happens. Did that not hurt him? I don't think that hurt him at all. I'm trying to remember. Let's see, this guy creates little things for us to fight. Oh, we have to fight him when that thing is gone. That's why. So if you take, if you press select to control the dog, and then you cast spells with the boy, it lets you cast eight at once, which is almost not fair because it's going to cause like three thousand damage to him. Well, okay, it didn't do that much actually. How much does he have of health? I don't know. A lot. Oh yeah, duh. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get our only throwable weapon out. Oh look, it's the old dog. <laughs> what old dog? The dog, the way our dog used to be in the last world. Really? Yeah. That was our dog. Or that's what her dog looked like? Well, it was like? kind of a darker looking version of it, but that was the shape of it, yeah. Wow. That is one... Weird dog. Alright, so these different... Oh, that's like a moon. These different faces mean different things. He's gonna bring different things forward. There's another dog, probably. Dogs are pretty strong. Oh, great. Now we got three to deal with. Tell you what, little white dog, how about you fight those three big dark dogs off? That would be okay by me. I'm actually causing more damage with the spear than I am with the crush spell. Bad dog. <laughs> That's their name. Ugh, more of these? You don't like these. We better heal up. It's kind of a goofy boss, it just holds still, mostly. Let's give him some more crush. But that doesn't hurt him as much as that spear thing that looks Yeah, but we can deliver those hits faster than we can with these. Oh, alright. Okay, tell you what, dog, why don't you get him? You missed. Hey, we got him! Yay! Yay! 1,200 tools. Yeah. I, th I think you think this is not the most exciting game. It's fun. Oh. Whoa, that guy was a serious head case. What's that little uh, vibrating pyramid gonna do? Hey, there's the guy That's in yellow. That's the real one. Good work, Basement. You saved our world from that terrible villain. He was my evil twin. And a robot of some sort, I suspect. <laughs> Glad we could help, Horus. Hmm. The statue's energy core looks like it could explode at any moment. We should remove it, and soon. Tiny! Tiny! Come here, we need your strength! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am Tiny the Barbarian. My strength is needed. We need you to throw this energy core as far as you can from the city before it explodes. Can you do it, Tiny? I am Tiny the Barbarian. I am very strong. I could throw anything. Step aside. Okay, I'll just move over here. Yep. That felt good. 
Good old Tiny. Nice work, Tiny. Proud of you. Oh, it exploded somewhere, maybe. Or it landed somewhere. That guy has a pretty good arm. Yes, his heart is in the right place, too. I just hope his incredible strength doesn't go to his head. So, uh, how do you suppose Dwellers and I could get back to Podunk from here? That's what they're from. They're trapped in this world right now. I'd like to know that myself. I... I'm not sure. Well, what's this guy? Horus, we have important news from the camp. Oh, well, hello, Madronius. What is it? The, exp uh, the explosive hit just north of the camp and opened up an entrance to a very large tunnel. The tunnel may lead to unexplored territories of Evermore. Hmm, a hidden tunnel. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for the news, Madronius. <laughs> that could be your answer, Basement. A passage to Podunk could start at the other end of that tunnel. Well, it's worth a try. Before you leave, let me help you. Let me give you the Staff of Life. It will increase your ability to defend against enemy attacks. Received Staff of Life. Thanks, Horus. Let's go, dwellers. Those dwellers went through Horus. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay, we're back in the marketplace. This seems like an excellent place to uh, save and stop for now. Basement okay. dwellers, thank you very much for joining us for this episode of Secret of Evermore, right here in Sunday Long Play. Uh, we will go check out that tunnel next time we play. And until next time, Basement Dwellers, we think that you are more stealing candy out of your sister's Halloween bag than Pryor, our special guest today, right here in The, the Basement. basement.